I'm Justin Carlson. I'm the chief pilot of the 737 program at Boeing. Oh, these airplanes are uh, amazing to fly. It's a real privilege to uh, come out here to the Paris Air Show and to fly in front of the crowd in front of the world and to show off what this uh, what this airplane is capable of. I think you're going to see today that these airplanes, uh, whether it's the 777 that's flying with us or the 37 behind me, they have a lot more capability than you see on a day-to-day -day basis flying out of uh, flying out of your airport. We want to show you that uh, if that capability is ever needed, it's there for you, and uh, it just show you uh, everything that these airplanes are capable. So we're continuously updating the uh, the flight deck of these airplanes. Uh, the, the 737 MAX 10 behind me has uh, a couple more upgrades uh, that are coming to the entire MAX fleet. Uh, and so my involvement has been uh, has been to, to lead the team that is uh, coming up with those upgrades, and implementing them, and certifying them. And uh, it's something that we are continuously doing, uh, not just as part of this flight test program. This is just an opportunity for us to make new upgrades, but it's something we're continuously looking at. What can we do? or what can we do better in terms of uh, interacting with the flight crew really, and making sure that they can do their job safely. This uh, particular airplane behind me is configured for flight test, uh, and so it has some unique features that you wouldn't see on a day-to-day -day airplane. We have water tanks that allow us to carry ballast and move that ballast, because when we're in the middle of uh, testing, it's important for us to be able to control where the center of gravity of the airplane is. When we're doing stability control, the handling quality, the way it feels to the pilot, we want to be able to move the center of gravity incrementally either forward or back to its extremes to show that the aircraft is capable out to that, to show that it meets all the certification standards out there. When we're doing takeoff and landing performance, for example, we, may, we might move the CG forward, and that's going to be that's going to be one of the more adverse cases in terms of uh, takeoff because the weight of the airplane is resistant with the pilot's ability to pull the nose off the ground. So we're going to go out to that point, and that's where we're going to show compliance to all the certification regulations with our regulators. We have thousands of unique sensors that are installed on these airplanes, uh, and they and they complement the, the sensors that are already on board the, the airplanes that are in service. So on every airplane that you see in service, it's, it's, it's collecting data, it's got several uh, health monitoring systems to make sure that the crew is aware of the health of their airplane. And then on top of that, we have thousands more sensors on these particular airplanes to get the, uh, to get the detailed data that we need to show compliance for, for certification and for a number of other reasons as well.